So if you watch my vlog, um, you will know that uh, I got into the Neverwinter beta. Um, it's by a company called Cryptic, uh, who is not a subsidiary of Wizards of the Coast. Um, I got to play for their open beta weekend, which was Friday to Saturday, um, Pacific time, I believe. Um, and you basically could level all the way through the game, uh, you know, to max level if you wanted. Uh, I chose not to because I wanted to be an actual beta tester and look for the problems in the game, find the bugs. Surprisingly, any of the bugs that I pointed out or reported um, were addressed within six hours. Um, I was actually kind of impressed. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown here um, of, of what we have because the server is shut down and there's no more beta right now. Everything's being wiped, so everything that I did is gone. So another reason why I'm glad that I didn't push to max level, because one, that would ruin the game, and then two, I would have made, done all of that and for no good reason. Um, however, so, first off, purple bar here at the bottom, that's obviously your experience bar as per every other game you play. Um, I think it's kind of funny um, that they point out that you are level 20, working to level 21. <laughs> um, so um, let's get to uh, making some of these bigger so I can point them out a little easier. We will start with your attack hotkeys. Um, the attack hotkeys. These are different from other MMOs that I have played because other MMOs require you to tab through monsters um, in order to target them and in order to, f to fight with them you, you, you hit the tab button and it automatically finds a monster for you to attack and then you just you could basically roll your face across the keyboard and do a good job. Um, in this game it's a little different. Uh, you only use your numbers at the top of your keyboard for number one and number two. Um, they, uh, that's it. I find myself using number one more than I should. Uh, number one and number two are what is called daily powers. Um, since the game doesn't actually have day and night um, to keep track of how often you can use your daily powers. They have something called action points that you gain as you're fighting other monsters. Once this D20 fills up with all of your action points, these will light up again and you can use them again. Uh, this green arrow right here is your stamina bar. It is used for dodging attacks. Uh, if you hold down shift as you are moving, or if you press shift, I'm sorry. If you press shift as you're moving, with your WASD buttons, um, you will quickly dodge or teleport, depending on the class, uh, in the direction that you were previously headed. You can also dodge by just double tapping the direction that you want to go with the WASD keys. Um, so you will use up stamina as you dodge. Um, eventually your, your character will become tired and can no longer dodge. Uh, it quickly regenerates. You you almost will never notice that you are out of stamina while you're in combat. Uh, the character I created was a mage, um, of course. So right here, right here, we have Q, E, and R. They did their best to try to keep all of the buttons very close together. Um, they are so close together, it's actually kind of difficult. Uh, for me to do it because I'm so used to reaching up to all those numbers that I actually skip over these buttons. Uh, Q, E, and R are encounter powers. They, you can actually use them more than once per encounter uh, with a monster or a group of monsters. They have a, uh, about 12 seconds is the longest encounter cooldown that I have found. Um, tab I didn't actually get to use yet. I'm not exactly sure what power that is. Um, your left and right click on your mouse is for your attacks, uh, your at will powers. Uh, three, four, and five obviously are potion slots, and six is for your mount. I is for your inventory. I'm used to B for bags. It's not 
that's not how it works. This right here is your health bar. I had recently got waylaid by many, many monsters. Moving on to the chat box over here. The chat box obviously tells you everything. <laughs> I, th I haven't messed with it enough to find out if you can actually tell it, stop telling me all this stuff. Um, but as you can see, I, I got into a big fight, and I still had all that health missing. Um, here's what I was talking about with the fighting the monsters, and you can't tab through them anymore. Now you have a cursor that you have to put on a monster and use your, your powers. Um, the name of the NPC I found made me laugh. This is a an internet meme joke. Meme, however you people pronounce it. Um, but yeah, you, you cursor over. It will change red if it's a hostile enemy, blue if it's not. Uh, white is normal. Um, so you cursor over the mob and use your buttons as needed. You also steer your character with moving your mouse left and right, up and down. Um, it's it's not uh, it's not like like other MMOs. Okay, moving on to up here, so get a better idea of this. This is our mini map area. On your mini map, it will show you where you need to go. Um, obviously, you can press M and you get a larger map and shows you many places that you need to go. Um, over here is constantly ticking by. These are PVPs. Um, to get extra treasure, extra special currency. I think the Delzoon Crypts is a PvP thing. Um, but it constantly ticks by, and if you queue up for these things and complete them within the time limit it gives you, uh, like 26 remaining for this one, and then this is 50, no, 30 minutes long for this one, and then, you know, so on and so forth. And if you complete it in the time, you get all this extra gear. Up here is Control I. There are fire pits around the world that are basically spawn points. Uh, when you go there, um, you can press Control I and earn a special currency because of uh, celestials, I believe. I think they're celestial coins or something like that. Obviously, this tells you where you are at. Uh, local time. I didn't mess with that. It might show you server time if you mess with it. And directly below the minimap is your quest progress tracker, as per every other MMO out there right now. Okay, um, moving on to up here, hotkeys. Uh, these are at the top of center of the screen. Just like every other game, instead of a mini bar, it's just a larger bar at the top of the screen. N is your professions. J is your quest journal. Y is for the real currency area. L is for foundry. That's where people can actually go in and create their own quests, dungeons, um, all kinds of really interesting things. It's 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 really worth looking into. Uh, C obviously is your character. O is your social tab for finding your friends and parties. Uh, G is for your guild. I actually managed to get in a guild about five hours before I stopped playing. Go me! Um, there is no mail button, but it does light up when you have mail um, from the server. If you get mail from people, you actually have to go to a courier NPC. Uh, I don't know what that is. I didn't mess with it. H is for reporting stuff, and escape is for your, your system settings. Uh, la lastly, we have your character. You get a brief image of your character, and all your buffs appear below it instead of over by your minimap. And it shows your level and your name and your class. I was a triangle, which stands for mage. Um, yes, my character has no eyes. I did that in pur on purpose. I thought it would be funny to be a blind mage. And that is a quick rundown of what Neverwinter looks like. Um, if you have time to check it out, I really think you should. It is going to be free to play. Um, it's coming out April 30th. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope to see you there. I'm going to play with it when it comes out, and good luck.